I'm Russell Huxter, I'm a part-time snooker coach. Some people I know would have higher up is for me is natural ability, stroke, good hand-eye coordination. That is important, but I don't I think practice and good technique can overcome and without those two you won't get anywhere with natural ability unless you play enough. Mm. So it's important but I don't think it's as high up as some people would have it. I've played against quite a few professionals, not, not always in tournaments, sometimes in exhibition type matches. I've played Martin O'Donnell up here and Alan Taylor a few times, they can't support the juniors. Probably my favourite moment, even though I got hammered, was in an amateur tournament when I think I was about 18 and I played Peter Ebden. And he was only young then, I think he was a young professional. And, um, he completely bashed me up 3-0 in about an hour. I think I hardly potted the ball. He was he was really good. Um, and although, as I say, although I lost, when he came, came on to become a top professional and world champion, I looked back on that moment and thought that was a that was you know a really good really good moment. final and I was a Steve Davis fan and I was devastated. I stayed up till half past midnight to watch the Blackpool finish. This is really unbelievable. I was devastated that he lost but when I look back now that was quite a historic, that was Snooker's biggest ever moment. So I started when I was, uh, we went on holiday when I was six. Hotel we stayed at had a pool table and so uh, me and my dad uh, played on the first night and um, I just really got the bug, it was something I really enjoyed. I'd always been into football and I still stayed into football but it really, I really got the bug for Q sports I suppose. And then I got a little table, five by two and a half feet uh, for my, birth, my eighth birthday. And so I had that in my bedroom, I played on that loads. There were no snooker clubs in my town, but there was a table installed in a pub. So yeah, since I was six, but properly on a proper table since I was 12. My highest break is 139. Um, I had my first 100 break when I was 16, which I've been, which I've missed a lot of chances to get it through nerves. I've had a lot of 100 breaks, but I've never, I, I really want to have, I really wanted to have something over 140. 